That looks familiar. What's going on guys? Today's video we have the Moano DM20 microphone. This is a noise cancellation microphone that you can turn on actively, which is really cool. Now obviously you see the design, it looks very familiar. I'm not gonna name any names, but got familiar design and the price range is also very familiar. Coming at about under 50 bucks. Let's go ahead and check it out here. This is the white colorway. We usually get the black, but we're gonna go with the white this time. It also comes in a pink colorway as well. Good for the ladies out there. You have ENC noise cancellation, which is basically adjustable. Control for the RGB, one touch mute button, real time monitoring, adjustable gain, and a built in shock mount and pop filter. Check this out. All right, so here's the microphone right there. That looks clean. So you have the accessories right here. Use your manual on the bottom, giving you all the information if you decide to use this. Here's the accessory box. Let's take a look at this. All right, so in here, you just have the cable and a boom arm attachment. So if you decide to use this with a boom arm, you can use this instead of the base. And it comes with a white cable. So I like that it matches. I wonder if the pink one also matches. This is a specialized cable, which has a USB-C, USB-C end, but you can use the OTG, which is attached on here if you decide to use it on your PC if you don't have type C. Here's the microphone surrounded in foam. This is a beautiful microphone right here. So you have some foam padding here on the bottom so it doesn't scratch up the surface what it's on. This microphone has key elements from other huge brands. You probably see what this is from. This is related to a HyperX quality gain control right here. Very smooth, very nice. We're gonna see how this is. You also have the monitoring input right here on the front usually it's on the bottom of the microphones but now it's on the front or usually it's on the back we're gonna see how this plays out as well the built-in shock mount is right here which i believe you can remove if you decide to take it out of the shock mount the pop filter looks very sleek and modern matches also with the white colorway it is removable you just lift up right there so if you decide to not use it at all then you cannot use it at all. You can use your own pop filter. It's included and it's good for the price. It has a nice subtle Moano branding right there. So overall, I'm loving the design, especially the white colorway. I definitely love the clean look. So if you're going with a simple, modern look for your setup, this thing is a beast. It is very, very light. I was expecting it to be a little bit heavier, but it is very light. All of it's made out of polycarbonate and the filling on the microphone when you lift it up, it is very stable. I like that. So it's very stable and you can adjust how easy it is to maneuver as well on the knob here. If you decide to not use the base at all, just unscrew this part right here all the way. It'll come loose and then you can just use the adapter right here. So even with all the lights on, you can see the RGB. It's a nice subtle look. You, have, you even have a green LED indicator right there on the front to tell you what mode you're at. If you press and hold it, it'll change to blue and that'll be noise cancellation. Same thing, you can mute or un- So if we go switch back to green, press and hold. So right here we have the Lavoit Core 300S and it's gonna go directly under the microphone. All right, so we're gonna do this with the noise cancellation and without. So first we're in the first setting for the air purifier. Now we're in the first setting with the noise cancellation. Now we're in the second setting with noise cancellation. And now we have noise cancellation turned off in the second mode. All right, and this is the noise cancellation test in the third mode with no noise cancellation. And this is what it is when it's turned on. So this is what it would sound like if you had a loud fan or a bunch of noise, ambient noise in the background. Turn this on and it should cut out a lot of it. Peter Piper Picker Pepper Pellins Melons, you know the deal. Peter Piper Picker Pepper Pellins Melons, you know the deal. I really need to read the manual more often. So I thought the noise cancellation was the green light. It's actually the blue light and I didn't realize that and I recorded the audio completely in noise cancellation and it sounded really really bad. Peter Piper Picker Pepper Pellins Melons you know the deal. Peter Piper Picker Pepper Pellins Melons you know the deal. And that's with non-noise cancellation this time with a pop filter. All right now we have no pop filter on it. Peter Piper Picker Pepper Pellins Melons you know the deal. Peter Piper Picker Pepper Pellins Melons you know the deal. Same distance same exact words. So what I noticed on this microphone right away is that the volume knob easy to actually touch mainly because I'm holding it even if you slightly drag your finger across the bottom it'll change the audio settings so you got to be careful for that but it's not a huge issue it looks good on camera which is what this is targeted for streamers and everything else like that do a quick distance test as well 
Now we're at max gain in the same exact distance, about a foot to a foot and a half away, maybe two feet, I don't even know. But this is the microphone test as well in the max mode. This microphone looks very modern, sleek, and obviously it's very inexpensive. So you guys are doing a crazy good job when it comes to this. Uh, sound quality is amazing. The looks on it is amazing. Price is amazing. Highly recommend it. But if you want to know which one's better, this one or the Amplegain 2.0, I highly recommend watching this video right here. Without further ado, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. We out.